Hi friends and welcome to the second in our continuing series of book talks for readers of all ages. The first book I'm going to talk about is part of a series and all the books in the series are wonderful and it's The Bear Series by Karma Wilson. In this series you meet the most charming bear and his forest friends as they go about their daily lives. The stories are told in rhyme and are accompanied by beautiful illustrations done by Jane Chapman. The Bear series deals with issues such as sharing, being sick, having a loose tooth that are appropriate for the youngest readers in a gentle and heartwarming manner. I just love the illustrations in here. Everyone will enjoy the Bear series. Next, I'd like to share with you the Mr. Putter and Tabby series by Cynthia Ryland and illustrated by Arthur Howard. This is a long-running series and a family favorite in our house. It follows the adventures of Mr. Putter and his elderly cat Tabby, along with their neighbors, Mrs. Teaberry and her good dog Zeke. It's unusual to find a book series that focuses on the elderly in a positive and humorous way, and some of the adventures they have are perfect for readers of all ages to enjoy. Next up, I'd like to talk about Meet Yasmin, a series by Sadia Faruqi and illustrated by Hatem Ali. Yasmin Ahmad is a second grader full of curiosity and imagination. There are several stories within each book that has very short chapters and fun illustrations to support readers who are just transitioning into longer books. The characters are diverse and they celebrate people of all types. This book series is ideal for uh, beginning chapter book readers and we have several and in the series at the library and I hope you meet Yasmin and enjoy the books. Once your child has gotten into larger chapter books, longer books, we have the graveyard book and this cover is uh, from our book club that we used this book a few uh, a couple years ago. The Graveyard Book is by Neil Gaiman and it's for kids that love a creepy story. You can't go wrong with Neil Gaiman. Although mainly known for his adult titles, he also writes for children. The Graveyard Book tells the story of Nobody Owens, Bod for short, an ordinary boy who through tragic circumstances is being raised in a graveyard by ghosts and a man who may or may not be a vampire. Bod must grow up and learn to live in the real world, all while avoiding the man Jack who killed his family when he was a baby. The Graveyard Book won the Newbery Medal and the 2009 Hugo Award, and it's just a fantastic read for people of all ages. Next up, I'd like to tell you about a juvenile graphic novel called Lowrider's Blast from the Past by Kathy Camper and Raoul III is the illustrator. This is the third book in the Lowrider series and is a prequel that goes back to when Lupe, Flapjack, and Elidio are first meeting up and become friends as they are each bullied by the Los Matamoscas. This series is a fun celebration of Lowrider culture and the amazing detailed illustrations allow for repeated rereading and you're still able to find something new in each book each time you read it. Although this is part of a series, each book can be read alone. Next, moving into some books for older readers, we have a YA, young adult, graphic novel called Meg, Joe, Beth, and Amy by Ray Terciero and Brie Indigo. This is a modern retelling of Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. The authors made some changes from the original story to allow for better representation. In this version, the Marches are a blended family and the story does not take the girls all the way into adulthood and marriage. There are many retellings of Little Women out there and this is one of the best ones. Give this book to your reader who thinks the original may be too stuffy or anyone who loved the recent movie. But still make sure you have some tissues handy as it's still a tearjerker.
Finally, I'd like to share with you Nation by Terry Pratchett. In this YA novel, teenagers Mao and Daphne must learn to survive on an island after a tsunami has destroyed all they know. They slowly find other survivors of the Great Wave and together they try to rebuild what they have lost. Although this book deals with tough topics such as death, culture, and religion, it's also very funny and warm. This book is a good introduction to Sir Terry Pratchett's prolific writing and is a standalone. I highly recommend him as an author uh, for teens and adults who love fantasy and humor. So be sure to pick up Nation and any of the other books I mentioned today at the Pflugerville Public Library. And thanks for listening. See you next time.